As long as they think you can spot the better gift. Start with a gift. Light Show, only on YouTube. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in to this week's video. If you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button. We're working our way towards 5,000 subscribers and I'd love to achieve that towards the end of the year. And at this rate, we should come pretty close. So like I said, go down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Previously, we have done a lot of bracing on the GTI and today we are going to start that process for the 2.5 NC Miata. If you haven't seen this car yet, be sure you go up to the playlist right up here or go to the channel and check the playlist out for the 2.5 build. Check out the videos, they're really cool. I had a lot of fun doing it and it's time to make this car into a more streetable, track ready uh, Miata. And we're gonna start that today by adding the Roadster Sport rear PPF brace. This is by Goodwin Racing. I think it's their Roadster Sport brand. It's really nice. I chipped the powder coating here a little bit, so that's not on them, but really, really nice piece, super sturdy, and we are going to install it on the PPF brace. So what it looks like is each end will connect to one of the support brackets in the rear. I'm not positive what they're called, and this bolts into the differential. So it takes the differential, and creates essentially three points of contact in the rear of the car to keep everything in line from moving. It's supposed to help with wheel hop and keeping the power to the ground, which is great because I still have an open diff and it kind of sucks. So it should be pretty easy. It's only six bolts. I say it's easy, but we're gonna jack up the car, get underneath, I'm gonna show you where it goes and hopefully get this thing installed easily and smoothly. So it is going to be a little tough to see, but right here is our diff with the PPF brace right here. And then each point right here and here is where the bottoms are going to attach. So essentially, should fit up just like that. Should be pretty easy to install, I think. Just gotta remove the bolts, put the brace on, tighten everything back up, and we should be good to go. tightened down so everything is nice tight and it should be really nice to drive now my one concern was that it would be low my car is pretty low and that's not the PPF braces fault but it doesn't look like it's that much lower from the rest of the underbody bracing so that should be fine I just got to be careful going over speed bumps and things like that but otherwise it looks great it took a little bit of finesse to get it in just because everything is really really tight Clearances are really small, but it looks good. I'm happy with it. Now we just need to go test it out. All right, we are here in the NC Miata with our new Roadster Sport PPF diff brace in the rear. I'll tell you right now, at idle, you do feel a little bit more vibration coming from the rear of the car. Um, you can almost feel it in the tires when you're moving, but the amount that this car already shakes and vibrates with the uh, solid motor mounts and everything, it's a, it's a non-issue, to say the least. If you were daily in it and you didn't have anything else, you might notice it a little bit more, but quite honestly, it's not a big deal in this car. So let's get on the road and we'll do a little on the street testing. Something in the rear, it doesn't really like change your. 
does make a little bit more noise too and that might just be the vibrations and not the differential itself because I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with my differential but it definitely creates a new noise coming from the rear of the car. close out this video car feels good no craziness going on and with that being said i'm going to close out this video thanks so much for watching guys again if you are interested in the ppf diff brace it is on goodwin racing's website so i'm really excited with the way the car is turning out i'm excited to put more bracing on it and things like that get this thing really nice and tight for the road so stay tuned for future updates on the nc miata stay tuned for updates on the gti Hope you're having a great holiday season. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments, and I will see you in the next one.